Unit 1 Our Surroundings Chapter 1 People with Special Needs Time to Think What do you do with these organs? Eyes Hands Legs Ears Brain Tongue Most of us are blessed with healthy body parts. They help us to do our daily jobs smoothly. But there are many people around us with some or the other physical defect, which may be by birth or due to disease or accident. They are called people with special needs or differently abled people. Such people need our attention, care and love. But we must not pity them. With our help, they can lead a comfortable life and manage their daily course. Nitty Gritty December 3 is observed as a World Disabled Day. It aims to promote dignity, well-being and right of the special people. Taking care of special people We can look after these special people in the following ways. We must be polite with them. We must not tease them or make fun of them. They must be made a part of our get-togethers birthday parties, picnics, etc. We should help them and motivate them to have a positive attitude in life. They should not be treated differently. We can read out books, comics, newspapers to the visually impaired. We can also help them in crossing the road. We can use sign language to communicate with the deaf and dumb people. Visually impaired people People who cannot see at all are called visually impaired people. They have problems in walking, moving, about and working. They cannot read and write. To overcome these problems, they use a stick to move and know the hurdles in their way. Louis Braille developed a special script called Braille Script for the visually impaired people. Ironically, he himself was visually impaired. In the Braille script, there are raised dots on a paper that form a pattern to represent alphabets. Such people see with their fingers and read with ears. They are talking books to help them understand things. Speech and Hearing Impairment Some people cannot speak or hear at all. It is difficult for such people to communicate with others. Such people use sign language to express themselves. Special training is given to such people to learn this language. They also learn to read lip movements. Partially hearing impaired people use hearing aids to help them to listen. Take a break. These are some specialist doctors. Which organ are they associated with? Ophthalmologist, Dermatologist, Cardiologist, Orthopedic Surgeon, Neurologist, Pediatrician. Old People Raghav loved to spend their time with his grandparents. He read out books to them, held their hands and took them for a walk in the evening. He also played games with them. He also told Raghav stories from the past. In the old age, people become weak and lose their strength and energy. They need the help and support of other people around them to do their work. We must be patient with them and attend to their needs carefully. They must be provided with soft diets and timely medication. We can hold their hand to climb stairs or cross the road. We must spend time with them and must not make them feel left out. Some old people do not have a family to look after them. Such people are taken care of in old age homes. 1st October is celebrated as Old Age Day. Nitty Gritty Old and sick people are like children. They need extra attention and care. Don't get irritated with them. Orphans Children who do not have parents are called orphans. They are taken care of in the orphanage. They are people in charge of looking after their requirements and bringing them up. 
Some children are even adopted from orphanages and are brought up in a family with other members. We can help them by donating food, clothes, books, toys, etc. We can also visit them and spend time with them. Nitty gritty. People who are born without limb or lose it due to some accident or disease are called crippled. They use crutches and wheelchairs to move independently. Chapter 2 Family Time to Think Write down the names of the family members who play with you, cooks food for you, tells stories to you. Let us read about Rima's baby sister. Today, Rima's mother and her baby sister came home from the hospital. Her father went to the hospital to bring her mother home. Rima's mother was carrying a little baby wrapped in warm clothes. The whole family was waiting at home to see them. Rima's grandparents were also there. Rima is very excited. Her baby sister is really tiny. She can't wait for her to grow up. Rima's family has grown from five members to six. Look at Rima's family in the above picture and answer the questions. A. Where is Rima? B. What does Rima's mother have in her arms? C. Who is the youngest member of Rima's family? All kinds of families. A family can have a few or many members. So, families may be small or large. A family in which only parents and children live together is called a nuclear family. A family in which many members live together is called a joint family. Mike lives with his mother in Pune. His mother is a teacher. Mike has many friends. Mike's father passed away when Mike was a little boy. Sometimes children may live with a single parent. Today is a special day in Sishu Kendra. 30 years ago, on this day, Shishu Kendra was founded. It is a home for children who have lost their parents. They have prepared a program for the guests. Many people who have lived here as children will also come here today. Some children may have lost their parents when they were very young. Many of them live together in orphanages or large homes like Shishu Kendra. At times, people adopt the children and give them love and care. When children are adopted, they become a part of a loving family. Nitty gritty. Sister or a brother is known as a sibling. Helping one another. Members of a family help one another in many ways. Priya and Praveen are doing their homework. Repeat. Priya and Praveen are doing their homework. Mother is helping them with their homework. Every day, the children complete their homework before going out to play. They both help mother in setting the table. On Sundays, Priya and Praveen work in the garden with their father. They are learning to take care of plants. Saf's grandparents take care of him when his parents are at work. His grandmother tells him interesting stories every day. Saf also helps his grandparents in many ways. He fetches and carries things for them. He goes for a walk with them every evening. Learning at home Children learn many things from the elders in the family. Ravi's father is an artist. He loves to paint. His studio is full of paintings and cans of paint. Today, Ravi is learning to paint. His father has given him a small canvas, paints and a few brushes. The Extended Family we, our siblings and our cousins are a part of a generation. Our parents, their siblings and cousins are another generation. People who are related to our mother are our maternal relatives. People who are related to our father are our paternal relatives. A family tree. Rima wanted to know all about extended family. Her father told her about her family with the help of this family tree. Nitty gritty, your parents, brothers and sisters are your immediate family. Your grandparents, aunts, uncles and cousins are your extended family. 
जनरेशन वन मनजीत सिंह एंड तनवीर कौर रीमास मेटर्नल ग्रैंड पेरेंट्स अवतार सिंह एंड स्वर्ण कौर रीमास मेटर्नल ग्रैंड पेरेंट्स जनरेशन टू कुलदीप सिंह एंड सुमित्रा सिंह रीमास मेटर्नल अंकल एंड आंट अर्जुन सिंह एंड तबलीन कौर रीमास पेरेंट्स मिल्खा सिंह एंड डेजी जोसेफ रीमास मेटर्नल अंकल एंड आंट जनरेशन थ्री वंश नाइन ईयर्स ओल्ड मोहन फाइव ईयर्स ओल्ड रीमा सिक्स ईयर्स ओल्ड वृंदा फाइव ईयर्स ओल्ड केविन टू ईयर्स ओल्ड आंसर द क्वेश्चन केविन बिलो यूजिंग रीमाज फैमिली ट्री नेम द सिबलिंग्स इन दर्ड जनरेशन टू विच जनरेशन डू वृंदा रीमा एंड केविन बिलोंग Who are Rima's maternal grandparents? How many children do her grandparents have? Who are Rima's parents? Unit two: The Living World. Chapter three: Plants Around Us. Time to think. Cross the odd one out. One: Maize, Jowar, Soya Bean, Wheat. Two: Potato, Spinach. Sugar cane, ginger. Three cashew nuts, peanuts, almonds, bajra. Four tomato, pineapple, mango, brinjal. Different types of plants grow in different types of environment. Plants are of different sizes and shapes. They grow in land and in water. Most plants bear green leaves. Flowering plants. Plants that bear flowers are called flowering plants. Flowering plants reproduce through seeds. Sunflower, pansy, bellflower, poppy. Different types of plants. 1. Trees are tall and strong plants. They have a thick and brown stem called trunk. Trees have many branches and leaves. They live for many years. Banyan and neem are examples of trees. 2. Shrubs are woody and bushy plants. They live for a few years. Rose, hibiscus and bougainvillea are examples of shrubs. 3. Herbs are tender plants with medicinal value. They have soft and thin green stems. They live for a few months. Mint and coriander are examples of herbs. 4. Climbers and creepers are plants that have flexible stems that need support. Pea and money plant are examples of climbers. Pumpkin and watermelon are examples of creepers. Tree, shrub, herb, climber, creeper. Non-flowering plants Plants that do not bear flowers are called non-flowering plants. These plants are the oldest plants on the earth. They grow from spores. Fern, horsetail, moss, mushroom, algae, nitty-gritty. A scientist who studies plants is called a botanist. Plant habitat. The surrounding in which plants live is called their habitat. plants adjust to their surroundings this is called adaptation plants grow in plains on hills in deserts in water etc most plants grow on land such plants are called terrestrial plants plants like banyan grow in plains these plants have broad leaves they hold on to the soil with the help of roots Desert plants are adapted to the arid environment of a desert. These plants have the capability to store water. They have few or no leaves. Several plants have spines to protect them from being eaten by animals and to stop loss of water from them. Plants like cactus grow in deserts. Cactus plants have leaves reduced to spines and a green fleshy stem. because of the high temperature and shortage of water desert plants store water 
plants like pine and spruce grow on hill stations. These plants are called conifers as they have cones instead of flowers. Aquatic plants can be found in ponds, lakes, seas and oceans. Some examples of water plants are water hyacinth, lotus, seaweeds, hydrilla and kelps. Desert plant, water plants. Plants make their own food. Green plants make their own food. The leaves are the kitchen of the plants. The green leaves and other green parts of the plants have a green substance called chlorophyll. Chlorophyll traps sunlight. Leaves use water, carbon dioxide along with sunlight to make food. This process is called photosynthesis. Nitty gritty. The bladder word plant is deadly. It can kill an animal in 1 by 50 seconds. Plants give us food. Plants store the food they make. The plants we eat are cereal crops, seeds, fruits, vegetables, etc. We eat cereals such as wheat, rice, maize, etc. We eat pulses such as rajma, bean, etc. We eat vegetables such as carrot, cauliflower, etc. We eat fruits such as apple, mango, etc. Nuts like cashew nuts and almonds and beverages like tea and coffee are also plant products. We get spices such as pepper and cloves from plants. Spices are used for flavoring food. We obtain cooking oil from seeds of plants such as mustard, sunflower and groundnut. Plants also provide us medicines. Examples are eucalyptus, quinine, neem and tulsi. Maize, wheat, cereals, gram, beans, pulses, potatoes, spinach, vegetables, mangoes, bananas, fruits. Cashew nuts, peanuts, almonds, nuts. Plants like cotton plants, coconut plants and jute plants give us fiber to make textiles. Plants that have sweet smelling flowers like rose and jasmine are used for making perfumes. Rubber plant gives latex that is used for making rubber. Tires, erasers, etc. are made of rubber. Plants also provide us timber to make furniture, paper and gum. Plants give shelter to animals and birds. They give out oxygen which cleans the air. Coconut for coir, cotton for t-shirt, jute for bag, flax for linen. Chapter 4 Animals World Time to Think can you name some animals on the basis of their sizes? Very big animals, big animals, small animals, very small animals. Habitat Different animals live in different places. Elephant, lion, dog. Animals like elephant, lion, dog live on land. They are called terrestrial animals. Fish, octopus, squid. Animals like fish, octopus, squid live in water. They are called aquatic animals. Frog, crocodile, salamander. Frogs, crocodiles, salamanders live both on land and in water. They are called amphibians. Rat, snake, mole. Some animals dig holes in the ground and live in them. Rats, snakes, moles live underground in burrows. Nitty gritty animals that live on trees are called arboreal. Example birds, monkeys, squirrels. Varied shapes. Different animals have different body structures. Snakes and earthworms have long, slender bodies. Birds and fish have streamlined bodies. Frogs and toads have squat bodies. Jellyfish and octopus have parachute-shaped body. The shape of the body of the animal enables it to live and move in its habitat. Snake, bird, fish, frog, jellyfish, 
moving around. Animals move from one place to another in search of food and shelter. Different animals have different organs which help in their movements. Terrestrial animals walk and run with the help of four legs. Aquatic animals have fins and flippers to move in water. Some also have webbed feet. Insects have three pairs of legs to walk. Some insects like butterflies have wings to fly. Birds have wings to fly in the sky and two feet to hop and perch. Snakes and worms crawl on the ground. Take a break. Find out a flightless bird, largest aquatic animal, largest land animal, tallest animal. Tails and animals. Many animals have tails. Some have long tails while others have small ones. They use them for different purposes. Monkeys hang from trees with their tails. They have long and strong tails. Fish use their tails to change direction in water. Kangaroos have small tails to balance their bodies while they are sitting on their hind legs and hopping. Dogs wag their tails to show their happiness. They curl their tails between their legs when they are scared. Cows and buffaloes use their tails to shoo away flies and birds that sit on them. Animals and their feeding habits On the basis of their feeding habits, animals can be divided into the following categories. Herbivores Herbivores feed on plants and plant products. Cows and goats eat grass. Sparrows eat grains. Squirrels eat nuts. Carnivores Carnivores feed on the flesh of other animals. Tigers and lions eat other animals. Snakes and lizards swallow their prey whole. Eagles eat small animals. Omnivores Animals like bear, crow, rats eat both plant products and flesh of animals. They are called omnivores. Scavengers Animals like vultures, raccoon, hyenas eat the flesh of dead animals. They are called scavengers. Nitty gritty Cutting trees destroys the homes of many animals. They do have a right to live like us. Useful animals Animals have been tamed by humans since early times. They are very useful to us. Cows and goats give us milk. Hens and ducks give us eggs. We get wool from sheep and yak. Skins of animals like snakes and crocodiles are used to obtain leather. Honeybees make honey in the honeycombs. Donkeys and elephants carry loads. Horses and bullocks pull carts. Dogs guard our homes. Animals entertain us in the circus. We must be kind to animals. They attack us when they sense danger from us. Nitty gritty. Sick animals are taken to a veterinarian doctor for treatment. Chapter 5 Creepy, Crawly and Pliers Time to think. Do you recognize these animals? If yes, then write their names. Insects Insects are the most diverse group of animals on the earth, found on land, in water and the air. They have a hard outer covering to protect the internal soft body. The body is divided into three parts, head, thorax and abdomen. They also have a pair of antennae, three pairs of joined legs with compound eyes. Some insects fly, some crawl, while some of them jump. Let us study about them a little more. Crawlers Worms like earthworms, Roundworms, etc. are insects without legs. They crawl with the help of their slimy and slippery body. Other insects like ants, lice, lizard, silverfish also crawl about. Lice live in human heads. Ants hide in corners of the house. Nitty-gritty insects feel with the help of their antennae. 
and breathe through the tiny pores called spiracles on their body. Spiders are also crawlers. They are not insects as they have four pairs of legs and their body has two parts. They belong to the scorpion family. Lizards have a long stick tongue to catch and eat insects like mosquitoes, houseflies, etc. Millipedes and centipedes have more than 100 legs. They feed on dead plants and insects. Snakes move with the help of scales on their bodies. This movement is called slithering. Nitty-gritty. Snakes have internal ears but not external one. Flyers. We have seen butterflies hovering around the flowers. They are flying insects. Moths, dragonflies, grasshoppers also fly. Mosquitoes breed on stagnant water, while housefly feeds on garbage and sewage. Grasshoppers camouflage with their surroundings. Butterfly, moth, dragonfly, mosquito. Life lesson. Do not allow water to collect in puddles as they act as breeding places for mosquitoes that cause diseases. Keep the surroundings clean. Take a break. Name some uninvited guests you see in your house or in your surroundings. Harmful insects. Although the insects are small, they can prove to be very harmful to us. Harmful insects are called pests. Mosquitoes sting humans and spread diseases like dengue, malaria and chikungunya. Houseflies carry germs in their feet as they feed on garbage. These germs get transferred into our food when they sit on it. It can cause diseases like cholera, typhoid, diarrhea. Sting of bees and wasps is painful and causes itching and redness. Bites of bugs, fleas and lice also cause irritation. Useful insects. Some insects are our friends and are very useful to us. Honey bees prepare honey from the nectar that they collect from flowers. We get silk fiber from the cocoon of silk worms. It is used to make silk fabric. Butterflies help in transferring pollens from one flower to another. They are also a pleasant sight to eyes. Earthworms are farmers' friends. They help in turning the soil and in growth of plants. Keeping the pests away. Keep the house clean. Use disinfectants to mop the floors. Don't let water be collected in old tires, pots, bins, etc. Keep food items covered. Put wire mesh on doors and windows. Spray pesticides in drains and sewers regularly. Unit 3 Our Basic Needs Chapter 6 Food Time to think. Write A if it is an animal product and B if it is a plant product. Food Food is the basic requirement for survival. Food gives us energy to work and play, helps in growth, keeps us healthy by fighting with diseases and by repairing worn out cells of the body. Nutrients are the useful substances present in the food. They are very essential in our meals in the right amount for our overall development. A balanced diet contains all nutrients in the right proportion. The nutrients are carbohydrates, proteins, fats, vitamins and minerals. Carbohydrates and fats are called energy-giving foods as they give us energy. Fat give us more energy than carbohydrates, but too much of fats make us obese fat. Potato, wheat, bread, sugar and rice contain carbohydrates. Ghee, butter and oil contain fats. Nitty gritty. The chef's hat is called toque. A row of corns always has an even number of corns. Proteins are bodybuilding food. They help in our growth and keep us strong. Pulses, eggs, 
meals, meat and fish are some protein rich food items. Vitamins and minerals are protective foods. They fight against diseases and keep us healthy. Fresh fruits and vegetables contain vitamins and minerals. They are needed in less quantity. We must include a lot of water in our daily diet. It helps in the proper functioning of the body. Sources of food All the food items that we eat are obtained from two sources. Plant source, animal source, plant source. We eat different parts of the plants as food. Lettuce, spinach, mint, coriander, cabbage are leaves. Carrot, radish, beetroot, turnip are roots. Sugar cane, potato, ginger, onion are stems. Cauliflower and broccoli are flowers. Mango, apple, banana, tomato, peach are fruits. Rice, wheat, pulses are seeds. Plants also give us spices, cloves, cardamom, cinnamon, etc. Medicines, tulsi, neem, mint, etc. Beverages, tea, coffee, cocoa, etc. Oil, mustard, sunflower, almond, etc. Life lesson, eating six small meals in a day help us to remain fit and healthy. Avoid eating junk food. Animal source. Animals also provide us with many food items. Milk, cow, goat, sheep, camel and buffalo are some animals that give us milk. Milk is a complete food and is used to make cheese, curd, paneer, butter, ghee, eggs. Hen, duck, geese give us eggs. Honey. Honey bees collect nectar from flowers and convert it into honey in the honeycomb. Meat. Goat, hen, fish are sources of meat. Take a break. Children can prepare different dishes and share them with their classmates. Also, they may mention the ingredients of each recipe. Different eating habits. Different people have different eating habits. Some people eat only plant products. They are called vegetarians. Non-vegetarians eat meat. The food we eat depends upon our age and liking, our tradition and culture, money we have, place where we live. Staple food is eaten popularly in an area and is generally eaten every day. Let us know about the staple food of some places. Nitty-gritty Vegans are people who do not eat any of the animal products including milk and milk products. People living in coastal areas like Kerala and West Bengal eat a lot of rice and fish. Makki ki roti, sarso ka saag, rajma chawal are relished in Punjab. Dal bati churma is eaten in Rajasthan. Thepla, Dhokla, Khakra are enjoyed in Gujarat. Find out about some more typical food items eaten in different places across the country. From fields to plates. Let us know about the journey of food. Farmers grow crops in the fields. When it is ripened, it is harvested and sold in the wholesale market, Mandi. Wholesalers and vendors buy the produce and we buy it from them. We cook the food items and enjoy with our family. We also get eggs, meat, milk from retailers who buy it from wholesalers. The farm owners sell these to the wholesalers. Chapter 7 Clothes for us Time to think Identify the following dresses. Long ago, people lived in caves. They did not wear the kind of clothes that we wear today. They covered themselves with leaves, barks of trees, 
and animal skins. However, some of these were either too hot for summer or not enough for winter. Gradually, people learned to make fabric by weaving and knitting. Weaving Weaving is a process of making cloth on hand looms or power looms that run on electricity. Weaving is done using two threads. Knitting Knitting is done on knitting machines. It is done using only one thread. T-shirts, sweaters, track suits, shawls and many other things are knitted. We use knitting needles at home to knit sweaters, mufflers, gloves, etc. by hand. Coloring the cloth Cloth is colored or dyed by soaking in a colored solution which is made from chemicals, water and dyes. A dye can be made with chemicals or with vegetables and flowers. Dyes made from flowers and vegetables are called natural dyes. Different colors that can be made by mixing various combinations of the natural colors used for dyeing clothes are Green color is made from mehdi leaves. Orange color is made from the harsinghar flowers. Yellow color is made from turmeric. Purple color is made from blueberries. Black and gray colors are made from blackberries. Making patterns. Once the cloth is dyed, different designs and patterns are made on it. Dye and dye. Dye and dye is a method of creating patterns by tying off areas of cloth very tightly so that the dye does not reach them. The rest of the cloth is then dyed. Rajasthan and Gujarat are famous for dye and dye textiles. It is also known as bandhani. Block printing Wooden blocks with different designs carved on them are dipped in fabric colors and pressed on cloth to make patterns. Vegetable printing Vegetables are cut, given shapes and dipped into paint. It is an art of making designs on a cloth with the help of a column or pen. The word column means pen. Bihar is famous for its kalamkari work. Wearing clothes We wear clothes according to the climate of the region and our customs and traditions. In very hot places, people prefer to wear light cotton clothes, while in cold countries, people wear woolens to keep themselves warm. People in different states of India usually wear different types of clothes. Examples In Indian villages, people wear traditional clothes. In cities, men usually wear pants, jeans, shirts, t-shirts, etc. Women wear suits, shirts, tops, jeans, t-shirts, sari, etc. India has a rich tradition of wearing unstitched clothes. People wear them in different ways. Sari Indian women love to wear the sari, but the way women wear sari in different parts of the country is not the same. Dupatta A dupatta is an unstitched cloth. It is much shorter than a sari and is also called chunni, odhini, chunari, etc. It is worn by women in different styles. In the northeastern states of India, women wear mekla, a long cloth with a blouse and cheddar. Turban A turban is a headgear worn by men. Turbans are worn in different styles in different parts of the country. Dhoti It is a long unstitched cloth, usually white in color. It is also called Lungi in Tamil Nadu and Punjab and Mundu in Kerala. Shawl It is an unstitched cloth worn by both men and women in winters. The gents shawl is called Lohi. Nitty Gritty Kashmir is famous for its Pashmina shawls. Chapter 8 Shelter for All 
time to think. Complete the names of different types of houses or homes. A house is a place where we live together with our family. It is not just a shelter but a place where we feel safe and secure. It protects us from heat, rain, cold and other weather conditions. It also protects us from wild animals, thieves and robbers. Early humans did not live in houses. They lived in caves or on trees and later started making simple houses. Today people live in different kinds of houses. Different kinds of houses. Kacha house. Houses that are made of mud, straw, bamboo sticks and reeds are known as kacha houses. They can get damaged during heavy rains or storms. A hut and a tent are kacha house. Pakka house. Houses that are strong and made with cement, bricks, steel and wood are called pakka houses. They can withstand strong storms and heavy rainfall. Pakka houses are mostly found in cities. A bungalow and an apartment are pakka houses. Location matters. There are many special kinds of houses that are found in particular areas. The different kinds of houses depend upon the climate of the place and the materials available to build the houses. Igloo Igloos are houses made of snow. They are temporary houses for people who live in the land of snow. Eskimos live in igloos. Stilt houses a stilt house is a shelter built on poles. We find these houses in areas which get heavy rainfall. They are made on strong bamboo pillars and have sloping roofs. They are usually built with straw, rope and wood. A ladder is used to enter the house. Tent house. Tents are temporary houses for nomads. Nomads are people who move from place to place. A tent is made of canvas and can be pitched and folded easily. They are mostly used by travelers and soldiers and are used in mountains, forests, deserts and camps. Caravan Caravan is a house on wheels. It can be moved from one place to another. It is also called a mobile house. Houseboat these are houses made on boats. They are found in lakes. Houseboats are a common sight in the Dal Lake in Srinagar and in the backwaters of Kerala. They are a great tourist attraction. Mud house. Mud houses are found in places which are very hot. Mud absorbs heat and keeps the house cool. Such kinds of houses are found in Rajasthan. Keeping the house clean People should keep their house clean in the following ways. The houses should have the doors and windows with wire nettings to allow fresh air in and to keep flies and mosquitoes away. Garbage should be disposed of in a covered dustbin. Domestic garbage includes kitchen wastes such as fruits and vegetable peels. Other wastes are paper, plastic bottles, broken glasses, etc. Both these different types of wastes should be collected in different bins. The two bins should be emptied at a proper place. The house should be swept and mopped daily. Bathrooms and toilets should be cleaned regularly and kept dry. Build a boundary wall to stop stray animals from entering the house. Decorating the house. Decoration adds beauty to a house. We decorate our houses during festivals and on other occasions. People decorate their houses with rangoli, leaves, flowers, balloons, festoons, etc. In villages, people decorate the mud walls of their houses by drawing pictures on them using vegetable dyes. People do special decorations on festivals, weddings 
and birthdays. Chapter 9 Safety Habits and First Aid Time to Think Prepare flashcards showing the following slogans Safety saves Safety is gainful Accident is painful Safety isn't a slogan, it's a way of life Safety is the priority We must try to follow safety rules all the time We should learn to take care of ourselves and others too here are some important safety rules. Safety at home. We should not play with tools, knives and other sharp things. Do not play with electrical appliances like switches, wires, plugs, etc. Do not lean from a balcony. It is dangerous. Never play with matchsticks. Avoid touching hot pans and heaters. When you use matchstick, keep it away from your body. If it will fall on your clothes, they may catch fire. Use it carefully. Never enter the kitchen with loose nylon clothes. Do not leave soap and shampoo on the toilet or bathroom's floor. You or someone else may slip over it. It may cause accident. Never touch electric switch with wet hands. You may get an electric shock. Do not fly kites on terrace or balcony. Do not sit on the wall of roof. You may fall and get hurt. Safety at playground. Do not play near tanks and swimming pools. Avoid playing near thorny hedge or wires. Do not quarrel. Wait for your turn at seesaw or swing. When you are sweating, just stop playing. Do not drink cold water. Always play in the park with friends under the supervision of an older person. Safety on road. Always walk on footpath or on the left side of the road. Don't walk in the middle of the road. Cross the road at zebra crossing. You must not avoid signals. You should cross the road only when vehicles on both sides stop after red signal. Never play on the road. Do not put any part of your body out of a moving bus. First aid. First aid means immediate help given to an injured person before consulting a doctor. A first aid box contains clean cotton bandages, antiseptic ointment, a pair of scissors, clear cotton wool, band-aid and tablets for stomach ache and headache. They are kept in homes classrooms, buses, trains, ships and aeroplanes. If you or your friends are hurt, then call an adult to give the first aid. Nitty Gritty Red Cross, a society for relief, was founded by Henry Dunant. Unit 4, Our Environment Chapter 10, Environment Time to Think Prepare a poster on depicting the hazards of environmental pollution. Our environment. Environment is everything that is around us. It can be living or non-living things. It includes physical, chemical and other natural forces. In an environment, there are different interactions between animals, plants, soil, water and other living and non-living things. Greenhouse Effect Greenhouses are used to grow plants in winter. It is a house made of green plastic or glass which traps the heat of the sun to allow plants to grow in winter. The most common greenhouse gases are water vapor, carbon dioxide and methane. Without the greenhouse effect, the earth would be too cold for life to exist. Land, oceans and plants absorb or soak up energy from sunlight. They release some of this energy as heat. Greenhouse gases absorb the heat and then send it back towards the earth. Without greenhouse gases, this heat would escape back into space. Global Warming 
human activities are increasing the greenhouse effect. When people drive a car or operate a factory, they burn coal, oil and other fuels. This adds extra greenhouse gases to the air and the extra gases trap more heat. This has led to global warming. Global warming is the steady rise in the average temperature of the Earth's surface. Effects of the global warming The warmer weather could harm living things. It could also cause the polar ice caps to melt. This would cause sea levels to rise. Plants, animals and buildings along coastlines would be in danger. Use of 3 R's is must in our daily life. Reuse Books, clothes can be reused by a needy person. Reduce Buy what you need. Don't waste or throw away anything. Recycle Metals, papers, etc. can be recycled to make new items. Conservation of Forests Deforestation Deforestation means cutting down of trees in large number. It is the major cause of the greenhouse effect as trees use carbon dioxide when they make their own food. Fewer trees mean that less carbon dioxide is being taken out of the atmosphere. Afforestation Afforestation means planting trees on a large scale. Trees give us life-giving oxygen, food and medicines. Planting and looking after trees is very essential. Conservation of Wildlife Wildlife consists of flora and fauna. Examples, plants, animals and microorganisms which are not domesticated by humans. On the other hand, conservation is preserving and protecting wild plants, animals and their habitats. Therefore, we can say that the conservation of wildlife is necessary to recognize the importance of nature and other life species. The main concern is to preserve the habitats so that the future generations of wildlife and even humans can enjoy it. Chapter 11 Water is Life Time to Think List any four activities that pollute water bodies. All living things need water to stay alive. Without water, there would be no life. Water helps us to digest food, remove waste from the body and maintain our body temperature. Uses of water We need water for drinking. We must drink at least 8 glasses of water daily. Farmers need water to grow crops. We need water to clean our house and other things. Some factories need water to make things we use. We need water in cooking food. Water is used in washing clothes and utensils. In India, rivers and other water bodies are an important part of religious festivals such as Chhat Puja in Bihar and boat races during the Onam festival in Kerala. Animals also need water to drink, bathe and to stay cool. In hot days, some big animals like hippopotamuses, elephants, buffaloes, etc. stay in water for a long time to keep their body cool. Water bodies like rivers, seas and oceans are also used to move from place to place by boats or ships. Plants need water for their growth and to prepare their food. Plants get water from soil through their roots. Plants will dry if they will not get water. Nitty gritty animals like the cola of Australia never drink water. Sources of water Rain is the main source of water. Rainwater is often considered the cleanest form of water, but when it falls from the clouds, it gets mixed up with dust and gases present in the air. This makes rainwater dirty. 
we get water from rivers lakes ponds and wells these sources of water are filled with rain water water found under the ground is called ground water rain water trickles or seeps down from the top layer of the soil and rocks and collects as ground water we can get ground water by digging wells farmers draw water from the wells through a tube well for irrigation purposes sometimes hand pumps are used to draw water from a well wells are still dug in many villages for water water at homes in cities water reaches our home through pipes before it reaches our homes water from rivers and lakes is collected and cleaned in big water treatment plants then it is pumped into a water tank from there it is sent through pipes to our homes water shortage when people have less water than what they need for their daily activities we say there is a water shortage as a result of water shortage water is not freely available for household use there is less water to grow crops there is even a shortage of electricity if this condition continues for a year or two we say that we are facing a drought forms of water water has three different forms gas when water evaporates and has no definite shape or size it is known to be in the form of gas solid when water becomes very cold and freezes it is known to be in solid form liquid when water takes the shape of the container it is poured in it is in liquid form liquid how can we save water water is very important for us it is said that water is precious here are given some points that should be kept in mind to conserve water check for the leakages and stop them do not leave the taps on use water wisely if some water is left after washing clothes we can use it for cleaning floors do not take bath directly under the tap take bucket and mug to take a bath take only as much water as you need to drink waste water from ro can be used for washing and cleaning nitty gritty never waste water many people have to wait in a queue for hours to get even drinking water rain water harvesting it is a process by which rain water is collected and stored for later use rain water is cleaned by filtration and is stored in an underground tank it is a great way of storing rain water water cycle due to the heat of the sun water from rivers seas and lakes change into water vapor this is called evaporation water vapor goes up in the sky to form clouds this is called condensation sometimes the clouds become heavy with lots of drops these drops fall as rain or snow this process is called precipitation rain water falls into the seas rivers and lakes and fills them this water gets heated again by the sun and changes into water vapor this cycle of changing of water into water vapor and again into water goes on and on in nature this process is known as the water cycle unit 5 play and work chapter 12 fun time time to think identify these objects and name the sport they are associated with playing games is important they are a good exercise for the body and mind they keep us fresh and active they give us energy to complete our work it is necessary to maintain a balance between work and play we all love playing playing time is a leisure time we play basically two types of games indoor games and outdoor games indoor games games that we play inside our house are known as indoor games some indoor games are ludo chess 
carrom, cards and other board games. Outdoor games Games that we play outside the four walls of a house are known as outdoor games. Some outdoor games are cricket, badminton, kite flying, hockey, basketball, handball, volleyball, football, cycling, roller skating, etc. Outdoor games are good exercise for our body and keep us healthy. Team games Hockey, football, cricket, basketball and volleyball are some popular team games. Playing team games teaches the value of teamwork and cooperation. Most schools appoint a special sports coach to train children in team games. National game Hockey is the national game of India. Likewise, nations from around the world patronize a sport and recognize it as their national game. Here are the national games of the neighboring countries of India. Countries National Games Sri Lanka Volleyball Pakistan Field Hockey China Table Tennis Bhutan Archery Afghanistan Buskeshi Bangladesh Kabaddi Myanmar Shinglon Games When our grandparents were of our age, they also used to play many games but their games were different from the games that we play today. They played games like skipping, kabaddi, pittu, hide and seek, hopscotch, etc. Girls used to play ghar ghar inside the house with dolls and toys. Elder people played chess or chopper. Some elderly people flew kites when they were young. Wrestling and kabaddi are two very old games. Today, children play different types of games. They play team games like hockey, cricket, football, throwball, etc. Besides games, children and youngsters also take part in sports and adventure games. Sport as an occupation A game played for fun or to earn money or for competition is called sport. A person who plays a sport is called a sports person. Some people play games to earn money. Play is like work for them. Here are a few of India's famous sports persons. MS Dhoni Cricket Saina Nehwal Badminton Viswanathan Anand Chess Milka Singh Athletics Integrity Sachin Tendulkar played his first test for India at the age of 16. He holds the world record for the highest number of centuries in one-day cricket. All these players have earned a lot of money by playing. Playing games is important. We should do our best and enjoy playing whether we win or lose. We should not cheat while playing games. All the games have rules and it is important to play according to the rules of the game. Chapter 13 Our Helpers Time to Think Write few things you do to help your family. In our daily life, people around us do different kinds of work to earn money. Each kind of work is called an occupation. Some occupations need specific skills. Farming, teaching, etc. are a few examples of skill-based occupations. Each person's occupation is useful and important to the society. These people help us and make our life comfortable. Let us learn about the work done by different people. People who work in hospitals. A doctor treats the sick and injured people. A nurse looks after the sick and injured people. People who work in hospitals. A doctor treats the sick and injured people. A nurse looks after the sick and injured people. People who run shops in the market. A green grocer sells fruits and vegetables. 
a milkman sells milk and milk products a stationer sells books pencils pens etc a chemist sells medicines a baker sells breads cakes and buns a tailor stitches our clothes a grocer sells things like pulses oil and sugar a draper sells clothes people who repair things a plumber repairs water pipes taps etc a mechanic repairs cars and scooters an electrician repairs electrical gadgets people who entertain us actors and actresses entertain us by working in movies and serials clown makes us laugh by his funny tactics dancers and singers entertain us by showing their talents writers write interesting articles and stories which we enjoy reading people who help us travel drivers drive cars taxis buses and auto rickshaws pilot flies aeroplanes and helicopters engine drivers drive trains boatman sails or rows boats people who keep us safe soldiers keep our country safe policemen and police women keep our cities and houses safe firefighters put out fires people who make beautiful things a potter makes pots and other items of clay an artist makes wall paintings a sculptor makes beautiful statues a florist makes beautiful bouquets work at home we do a lot of work at home all members of the family do some work or the other only then the home runs smoothly mother usually looks after the household work she does cooking and takes care of the needs of the family members she also helps children in their studies father goes to the market and buys groceries vegetables and fruits he takes care of the house he earns to fulfill the needs of the family he also helps children in their studies If there are grandparents at home they help both father and mother the grandmother helps mother in cooking and the grandfather drops the children to the bus stop and also picks them up grandparents also sometimes help the children in their studies children also help their parents at home they do things like watering the plants dusting the furniture laying the table making their table keeping their clothes neatly in the cupboards and arranging their school bags child labor there are some children whose age is between 5 to 14 but do not go to school and are forced to work and earn for the family this is known as child labor hence children of these families are forced to work like adults they are often treated badly these children work as delivery boys etc working children are often deprived of education in some cases children run away from their homes to work at far off places sometimes parents sell their children due to poverty child labor harms the physical and mental growth of a child preventing child labor The government of India has many repeat the government of India has made many laws to prohibit child labor but we still see children working in many places child labor must be stopped in India education has been made free and compulsory for all children under 14 years of age many programs have been launched by the government to achieve this goal organizations like unicef ilo and cry have made laws to put an end to child labor many such organizations look after the rights of children and protect them from exploitation
nitty gritty child labor is illegal in our country the government of india put a ban on child labor in the year 2006 unit 6 things we do chapter 14 pottery time to think name some pottery items used in your house in ancient times when early man started practicing agriculture they felt the need of vessels and utensils to store grains they started to make pots of clay to cook their food a pot was made by just pushing into a ball of wet clay or by making a long snake of clay and simply coiling it into the shape of a pot they either put it out in the sun or put it in oven to make it dry and hard this is called firing the art of shaping and baking clay to make kitchen utensils flower pots water pots ornaments and other creative things is called pottery a person who makes pots is called a potter pottery includes pots vases vases bowls dishes etc wet clay is mixed with some water by using the feet to make a dough once the dough is kneaded well it is put on the potter's wheel the potter's wheel the potter's wheel has a round flat wooden or metal surface that can spin while the potter shapes the clay on it when clay is put on the wheel it is made to revolve earlier potters moved the wheel with their hands but now machines help the disc shaped wheel to turn round and round types of pottery there are three main kinds of pottery earthenware earthenware is a pottery that has not been heated at very high temperature this pot is soft and it can absorb water stoneware stoneware is a pottery made with stone some types of stoneware absorb water while some do not porcelain Porcelain is a pottery that has been heated at very high temperatures. The final pot made of porcelain is white in color. It does not absorb water. Pots today. We need different types and sizes of vessels to store things. Today most people use vessels and pots made of metals such as steel, aluminum, glass or china clay. We use these vessels to store food, cook food and serve food. Unit 7 Invention and Comfort Chapter 15 The Invention of Wheel Time to think Write the names of some machines which cannot work without wheels. A B C D E F Life of early man The early man learned many things to make his life comfortable In the beginning he used crude tools later he learned to make better tools he discovered fire he also learned to make fire still his life was very difficult he was a wanderer and a hunter his major problem was to get enough food for him as well as for his family He had always been on a great move in search of food. Agriculture. Slowly he learned that the seeds of wheat and barley were very good to eat. Then he started farming. He also tamed animals and these animals were of great use to him. The animals were useful in many ways like hunting, plowing, guarding his huts, providing milk, meat, skin, etc. some animals were even used for travel now the life of man has changed a lot settled life agriculture made him to settle at one place he made a hut near the place where he grew crops and started to live with his family they started making huts with stones and leaves then several families joined together and lived in groups These groups later developed into villages. They needed water for agriculture for their daily life, so they started living near rivers. 
It also provided them a lot of fish. The river basin or the land on either sides of the river was soft and fertile, which was good for agriculture. He travelled on river from one place to another by the rafts and small boats made by him. Nitty gritty. People started using wheel to make pots and other pottery. Invention of wheel. One day, man realized that rounded stones rolled down the slopes easily. He cut the trunks of trees and stones into round pieces to help them roll. He joined these things with the help of a branch of a tree and made a cart and he was quite successful. These round trunk of trees became the first wheel. This led to the invention of wheel. Slowly, man started making better wheels. He made wheels with spokes which were lighter but stronger. Wheel was men's one of the most useful inventions. The invention of wheel made transportation easier which saved a lot of time and energy. The bullock cart and tonga are still used as important means of transport in villages and rural areas. Today, we have many advanced vehicles in which wheel is still used. Advanced wheels are found in car, bus, motorcycle, etc. Wheels are used as pulleys in wells, cranes and machines. Wheel is also used in running the windmill. Thus, wheel is one of the most important invention of man. Nobody can imagine such a smooth life without this wonderful invention. Unit 8 Our World Chapter 16 The Solar System Time to think Label the planets A solar system consists of the Sun, Moon and 8 planets. These planets are Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune. They all exist in the space. They are called heavenly bodies. The Sun. The Sun is a star and not a planet. It lies in the center of the solar system. It is so big that one can easily see it from the Earth. It is the only star we see during the daytime. In our solar system, the eight planets revolve around the sun in an anti-clockwise direction. The sun is very hot because of gases burning inside it. Animals, plants and people will die in the absence of sunlight. Plants make their food in the presence of the sunlight. The moon. These are heavenly bodies which revolve around a planet. They are natural satellites. Some planets have moons. The Earth has one moon. The moon takes about 28 days to complete one round around the Earth. It also takes the same time to revolve on its own axis. The moon is our nearest neighbor in space. It is much smaller than the sun. Our moon is a big ball formed by rocks. It has rocky mountains and sand covered plains. There is no water or air on the moon. The moon looks big in the sky because it is closer to us than the sun. Many spacecrafts have been sent to the moon. The position of the moon changes every day. Its different areas are lighted up by the sun. Looking at the moon from the earth, we feel that it is changing shapes every day. The day we see the full moon is called Purnima. The day when it is complete dark is, it is called Amavasya. New moon, crescent moon, half moon, full moon. The earth. The earth is a planet on which all living beings live. The earth is the only planet on which life exists because of the presence of water and air on its surface. Our earth consists of two-thirds of water and one-third of survival of land, the stars. During night, we see millions of twinkling things in the sky. 
these are stars and they are the balls of hot burning gases the sun is also a star all stars have their own light the stars which are close to us appear very bright the stars which are very very far away from us look dim a group of stars is called a cluster constellation group of stars stars are huge heavenly bodies that have their own light some stars form interesting patterns in the sky these groups of stars are called constellations examples saptrishi scorpio leo lion etc there are about 88 constellations saptrishi scorpio chapter 17 the earth time to think Solve the puzzle. Nine words related to the earth are hidden in the puzzle. See how many you can find. Hint: The words either describe the earth or speak of the earth's resources. Hoot: Some words go up to down. Words: Wildlife, cattle, round, forest, axis, planet, mineral, water. land our earth is the only planet in our solar system that has water on its surface 70% of the earth's surface is covered with water the remaining 30% is covered by mountains deserts plains and valleys the earth is surrounded by a layer of air called atmosphere the atmosphere is made up of different gases The major components are nitrogen and oxygen. The atmosphere gives us air to breathe because of which we live on the earth. Earth is also known as the blue planet because 3 quarters of the earth is covered by water. It is the fifth largest planet in the solar system. It is about 150 million kilometers away from the sun. Movement of the earth Our earth is moving constantly. We cannot feel the movement because the earth is moving smoothly and slowly. Our earth shows two kinds of movements. They are rotation and revolution. Rotation. The movement of the earth about its axis is called rotation. The rotation of the earth causes day and night. The earth takes nearly 24 hours to rotate once on its axis. 24 hours make one day. The part of the earth facing the sun has day while the other part has night at the same time. Revolution. The movement of the earth around the sun is called revolution of the earth. The earth takes about 365 one by 4 days to complete one revolution. 365 days make a year. Revolution of the earth causes changes in season. Save the planet Earth. Our planet Earth is in great danger. People living on the earth have wasted and misused the natural resources of the earth to the maximum. The earth is our home and we need to protect it. Our planet is becoming breathless and is choking gradually. We should do something before it dies. We should stop cutting down rainforests to save our life, atmosphere and homes of many different species. People should limit their use of electricity and use less fossil fuel to save the environment from global warming. They should promote the use of solar lights and wind energy to save destroying earth. Following the 4R rule, reduce Reuse, refuse, recycle can be proved very effective in saving our precious earth. Chapter 18 Maps and Directions Time to think. Fill in the blanks. Dash sits to my left in the class while dash is on my right. Dash sits in front of me and dash sits behind me. Maps A map is a drawing of a large area with actual measurements on paper. A book of maps is called an atlas. The map may be of the world, a country, a city, or a neighborhood. A map represents a simple, 
repeat a map represents a simple visual information about a place different symbols are used to highlight different things on a map we can show mountains forests rivers airports buildings temples etc on a map by using symbols the study and the process of making maps is called cartography the person who makes maps is called a cartographer kinds of maps there are two kinds of maps one physical map a map which shows mountain ranges hills plains deserts and water bodies is called a physical map two political map a map which shows the division of the world into countries or of countries into states and districts etc is called a political map scale like some places are symbolized by images letters or colors distances on a map are shown by a scale a scale helps us to calculate the accurate distance between two places example in a map the scale is given as 1 cm equals to 100 km suppose the distance between two points on the map is 4 cm then the real distance would be 400 km sketch a sketch is a rough drawing of a place it usually has important landmarks landmark is something that we can see clearly and recognize easily like a hospital school park etc it helps us to know where we are and where our destination is plan a plan is a drawing of a room or a house it is similar to a map it also uses symbols the list of symbols used in the plan is known as a key directions there are four main directions these are east west north and south the directions are shown with the letters n north s south e east w west stand facing the rising sun in the morning it always comes up in the same direction this direction is called east your back is towards the west your stretched right hand points to the south and your stretched left hand points to the north a compass helps us to know these directions with the help of a needle the needle always points to the north nitigrity the sun always rises in the east and sets in the west compass